All right, so we got done f with the fucking stupid mold, bitch. <sighs> Langston's Runaways we, we can't do because I can't figure out how to get to the Japanese paper lantern. I guess we can do the moving letters really quick, but that's not gonna... That's not gonna help us with the other stuff. That's no normal piece of paper. What? What are you talking about? Oh, that. Uh. Come on. Did I not get it? I swear to God. Come on. I got it. I need to find the other pages. There's more than one? Oh my god. Book Club, Penny. <sighs> Hello, avid readers. Not me. The Bureau Book book Bunch will convene at the usual spot. Really discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Don't care. What the fu- Oh, more Threshold Kids. That character still hasn't shown up. The old person or something. Just Uncle Mr. Bones. She's supposed to be crying. Redacted information. It's like the director says, confidential and children both start with C. The director's a puppet! A pretty person! Hey, watch your mouth, that's me. Yo, that's creepy as fuck. Oh, that gave me chills down my fucking spine. Ugh. Jesus. Alright. Oh, I got goosebumps. Dead presidents. To whom it may concern I'm being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America, they may appear they appear as spirit guides giving it their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I have a great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Why does that name sound so fucking familiar? James Bartholomew? Like, how do I know how to say it? The hell? You're listening to America Overnight. How do I miss some of these? The airwaves for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy, thanks. This is something I've experienced recently. 
while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicious Con. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed. Inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below him. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. Yeah, no. It was dark and stiflingly hot. I would fucking die. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange. Something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear listeners, when no one else believes you, we do. America Overnight, we'll be right back. What is this, somewhere? The things went weird. No one was sure how this happened. Whether it was some, something caused something by someone or something, or if it just happened by itself. There were a lot of stories. Everyone had a theory of how it happened, of which may be the weirdest and perhaps only fittingly singled out here was the talk about a strange golden space helmet that someone had found in a secret research project to replicate and manufacture those helmets. It was said that the helmet opened a way to another place different from this one, but whether that other was actually a place or just something that came over you when you were wearing the helmet, no one knew, not even the scientists in charge of the project. In any case, in any case, uh, what the fuck? Okay. In any case, sorry, I literally had to take my finger and drag it across. So in any case, or so the myth went, the helmets or the people trying them on brought the other closer to here and things got weird. Things that people had learned to take for granted like technology and physics and religions and time and stuff just stopped working like they s used to so it stopped altogether or became something different there were lots of accidents and terrible catastrophes at first and most people died and disappeared and in some places it rained flowers and others blood jesus <coughs> and sometimes the others the other was very close and everything ripped and warped as something big in the other passed by close by Pass close by and sometimes it was even almost like the old times in time people adjusted and adapted and learned to use the new things that and laws to fix some of the old but mostly as time went by people just forgot that these things had ever been different and the weird became normal everyone at least everyone who believed in the myth thought that the golden helmets and those who wore them were bad and they seemed to have a point for those in the golden helmets, even while they were hardly ever seen anymore, were often on those rare occasions doing bad things. Luckily, the others, the other gave many people strange abilities and a few heroes rose to fight the bad things. And there were lots of these in the, uh, lots of these bad things and lots of good things as well. But how even more than before the other things were ambiguous and never simple or clear and people rarely could tell the good from the bad in any case things went on it was almost never boring who wrote this report to dr darling jesus christ <sighs> the f 
fucking run on sentences, man, I swear. Marshall, lockdown distinctions. Pay attention, Alberto. This is the last time I'm explaining this. Internal lockdowns are manually triggered events that lock one or all of the sectors by restricting use of the sector elevator, effectively locking staff in their sector until the emergency is handled. Internal lockdowns are a bigger deal. Nothing in or out of the whole building is triggered by a code red containment breach based on some complicated system that security, blah, blah, blah. It can only be lifted once A, the threat has been neutralized, or B, a higher clearance individual gives the system the all clear. The process is not the same as the director override, so stop saying so in documentation. I know it's confusing as hell. I've told Darling a hundred times to change it, but they, they're adamant it stays the way it is. Honestly, I don't think they even know how to change it at this point. Let's just make sure our staff understands how this mess all works. Okay. Data breach. Last month, our on-site server experienced an intrusion by unauthorized users after a thorough investigation was confirmed that the users only accessed a video file which contained portions of doc various Dr. Darling presentations. Investigators were able to track the users through their IP addresses following from the identities. Patrick, Strugins, Rubens, Nagor, okay, a bunch of fucking names I cannot pronounce. These individuals are in breach of Bureau Code 91 and have been placed under surveillance by our external investigation team. Further action is pending. Don't know any of those people. Can't say any of those names. Fake planes. Dear New York Tribune, airplanes aren't real. I figured out how they do it. The windows are TV screens. The whole thing moves on big tracks like a roller coaster that moves through underground tunnels in the earth. Airports are more like train stations. They do this because the sky is full of monsters that they don't want us to know about. The planes we see in the sky are the monsters. The government made the earth trains look like the monsters so they could lie to us better. Don't contact me. <laughs> Jesus. That's a scary thought, but also completely crazy. Whoa, whoa. Oh, fuck off, man. I'm so tired of getting ambushed when I'm just fucking doing nothing. I had a dream and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain a god, that will contain god, but not the god you know or the ones anyone knows. A new god. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. On God. I had to use that dialing plate on God, bro. Why? Why so fucking many? This is bullshit. Singing fish. Mr. Governor, I called the police and they never came to my house. I got a problem and you got to send folk to fix it. Got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. It says a lot, lots of cuss words. Devil got in my house because of the fish, and you got to come handle it. My wife is real upset. Can you come? When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. So many of these fucking files. That's a fucking missile coming for me. Uh, greetings, Director Trench. <sighs> is this even worth reading? Of course. I will first compile the system and allow us to analyze the letters for information or suspected connections to AWEs and other arts. Thank you again. Delve into my dead letters. Um. Huh. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to be going. Motherfucker, here it is. Jesus Christ. Oh, 
Holy shit, I was about to fucking give up on this thing. I was like, there's no way. I, I went into so many different departments around the area trying to look for it. That said something about a smoking ban. Uh, dear elected official, thanks to the recent smoking ban in my state, I'm happy to inform you I will not be voting for you in the next election. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, fucking... Somebody bitching about smoking. Whatever. White kitchen. It's been some time since I sent my initial letter. I hope it's not the case that you've dismissed my claims outright in the hope that I'm writing you once more to ask for your help in understanding the oddity that has befallen me in my home. Recently begun renting a new apartment in the city. The space is nothing special, though for a time I found the isolation quite soothing. Get to the point. My surroundings, when I'm in my kitchen, a tiny little thing with not much but a sink, sometimes lose myself. Uh, my surroundings change. I find myself standing on a strange dark stone. I stare out at a colorless sky as white as undisturbed snow. Terrified of moving. That's the astral plane. Perhaps this is a brain issue. I think not as it feels terribly, terribly real. This has been occurring for some months now and I have become frightened of entering my kitchen. If it's not too much of an inconvenience, I would dearly appreciate a visit from one of your professionals to see what they make of it. Rain Fitzgerald. Pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit. Wow. That's... Why is... Why is one of the lines redacted? Cat clock. My clock is shaped like a cat and its eyes move and I think it's angry, but I keep apologizing and it won't stop. But I said I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 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 but it won't leave me alone and I don't know what it wants. I can't keep apologizing. Quote, do you see it now too? It told me everyone is here and I need to be careful so they don't see me writing this letter. It wants me to stay with it. My eyes, with my eyes on its eyes and moving very fast, but I can't keep going and I worry they will forget about me, so I need to write you about this because I can't keep going, but the cat will because of its eyes redacted. Sheesh. Well, that's creepy. There we go, you fucking son of a bitch. Our whereabouts. Hey, you have questions and the prophets have your answer. If you're truly intrigued, watch the time. Lost about 45 days in the past four years. The shortening of days. This is why the Vatican is a sundial and almost simultaneously a keyhole. Other, another thing while I'm here, if you want the secret to everything, compare plasma next to brain cells. The sun plus moon are composed of plasma. Simply light, not planets. After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of where you and I and humanity reside. Cheers. Okay. Fucking son of a bitch, Jesus Christ. It's been 40 minutes. Vivid dreams. Oh my god, that's so much, okay. Um, last night I had one, I saw a small empty town, it was utterly dark, there was a lake at its center, shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things, a bright light woke me up, I was screaming in my sleep, my wife had been shaking me for minutes before I woke. Because of this recent incident, I have decided to seek help the doctor says I am physically fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. Thank you for your valuable time. Richard Boker. It sounds like... Uh... Bright Falls. Hmm. The lake at its center, you know? Cauldron Lake. On to the regular fucking scheduled program. Alright, get me out of here, man. Let's go to that ashtray maze, see what they got for us. Uh, we can get there from luck and probability, I think. Fuck you guys. That whole damage boost after killing is a killer. Alright, get me in there. 
I want to see what the fuck this is all about. Fire break. Aha, see? Contact the janitor if you need to get through. Broken? How many dead ends can this place have? We need to find Ati. So this wasn't here before. Now we have access to this fucking thing. And it's broke, so... I mean, explains why it wasn't fucking working before. What the fuck? Ozzy. Whoa. Huh. All these fucking things. It's no Ati. Where is he? Now Whoa. this boy left, said the son of Anniki Tahti. My assistant will keep work in the club and the house standing. Lomille lumps, holiday humps. How can anyone even get out of here while the building's sealed? Let alone go on a holiday. Is that a beach? What the Oh, ow. That way, then, huh? Whoa, huh? Okay. Oh shit. Are we gonna like fight our way through his side missions? What the fuck is that thing? Fucking kidding me.
Rule of three applies. Wait a minute. Holy shit. The coolant pumps led to this the whole time? Clear the mold and even more mold. They're in the containment sector and the maintenance sector. Around the coolant pumps. I mean, we're here. Never mind, fuck it. Never gives any fucking clear instructions on these missions. I'm just gonna. Get out of here. there oh Jesus do you hear that radio 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 Radio, radio. These ones have two. Ah. Uh, disgusting. So obviously can't get in there. Gotta find a way to fucking... Maybe that worked? That worked, I guess. He talked it to death. Can't turn that one on. New York United Airlines. Uh, I am... Confusion a little bit. Here we go, the janitor. Summary. Response team was dispatched to a possible AWE in progress at blank Albany. At the scene, the team encountered and retrieved AI-63. I can't remember what that one is. Uh, the Bureau discovered numerous online message boards regarding loud noises coming from abandoned shipping warehouses belonging to the blank corporation. Local law enforcement had discovered numerous bodies in various states of mutilation in the vicinity. This, along with the noises, were considered to be evidence of a werewolf due to the fact that they only occurred on the last three full moons. Field Agent Blank accompanied a squad of ranger trainees to the site as a form of field training. The likelihood of a genuine AWE was considered low. Despite the evaluation, the team encountered a highly volatile altered item, which they successfully retrieved. I gotta get over there. Okay.
Where the hell are you, Ati? I guess I'm just going down, not calling the elevator. Restricted area? Where the fuck am I? Oh, hey bud. Oh my god. Albany supplement. Upon arrival, the squad broke into warehouse. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, wooden crates and accelerated physical blank. Blank. Two, three trainees. Unconscious, blah, blah, They stood guarding around the item until the moon set, at which point the altered effect ceased. They returned to the item to the bureau without further incident. No fatalities occurred. Collapse of the warehouse was not witnessed by civilians, and thus no reinforming by the communications department was required. Discovered the boxes under the purple merchandise. Abandoned the previous owner of the warehouse. Ah... Uh, it was a, it was something in a warehouse. I can't remember what that item was. But I do remember that we found it. That's an earlier point. Pussy bitch. Is it coming this way? And I just have to fend these guys off until it shows up. This is some nice music, a uh, nice long cable car ride to talk about um, how enjoyable the game's been so far. Uh, any downfalls? Yeah. The map? Considering that there isn't one. No, but uh, I thought that maybe it would be something, like I kept telling myself inside my head, like, Usually I don't like when things are being too ha like handholdy. Game like, you know, doesn't give you a sense of exploration. Now it's simply a matter of um like removal of clarity. Uh I just yeah, some of the side missions and some of the side missions and, and the way the map works, just, it's very frustrating. But overall, the game has been a lot of fun to play. Uh, 
where the hell? There's something up ahead. Do you see it? We're about to walk in on him in the fucking shower. What's going on? Huh? What the hell's oh, going on? Ati? <laughs> Did you miss me? Did you have peace in your song? Okay. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Park don't make a wound. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. It will get you through the maze so you can do your job. Huh. We got the pony Walkman. 